This post is not on Am I the Asshole. However, I, 23F, created a one-to-one -one scale puppet version of my boyfriend, 22M, and showed it to him during foreplay as a joke. Now he hasn't texted me in 12 hours, and I'm starting to get worried. How do I get him to text me back? Title pretty much says it all. Blah, blah, blah. Title pretty much says it all. But here's some more details. My boyfriend of six months. Anyway, <clears throat> my boyfriend of six months and I have had a pretty cut and dry relationship up to this point. I've always been what some people would call quirky, so pranks are sort of my bread and butter. He, John, has expressed that he really likes this part of me and I'm happy to be with someone who can handle all of my zest. LOL. Sometimes I worry that he doesn't actually think I'm funny as he says, but he always reassures me that this is not the case. One of the ways we really like to express our humor to each other is in the bedroom. For example, I love to do impressions of mostly Disney characters, such as the paperwork lady from Monsters, Inc. He sometimes does them too, but he's not that good at voices. So here's where I think I may have taken it too far. I recently bought a sewing machine to try and make cosplay costumes and stuff, but something dawned on me as I was messing around with it. This was the plan. We oftentimes, with a habitual back rub massage sort of thing, and we switch off, and then we progress into French kissing and then full blown you know what. One very important fact to tell you is that John does in fact wear glasses, so I will usually make a point to take them off and put them on the table for safety. During this particular romp in the hay, I got, can, can you not just say sec? I got a really funny idea about how to take his glasses off next time and I couldn't stop laughing. He asked me what I was laughing at because he has some insecurity about his appearance, but I assured him that it was nothing like that. We had our fun and John went home, but all I could think about was this plan. So the next day I went to the fabric store and bought a bunch of skin colored felt and wire framing and cotton and got to work creating a Muppet style version of my boyfriend to put his glasses on next time we started getting dirty style. Honestly, the thing was looking pretty good, and I even found some clothes at Goodwill that were his style. I dressed the puppet in the clothes, hid them under my collection of Squishmallows that's in my room, and invited him over. To spare you all the explicit details, we did start kissing and taking clothes off and stuff, but my hands were shaking as I reached up to grab his glasses. Instead of... <laughs> Instead of putting it on my nightstand, I made a point to say something like, I'm just gonna put these right here. As I stretched over to the Squishmallow that was covering my puppet boyfriend's head, and I put the glasses right over his felt eyes. He got confused, I think, and looked back to where I put the glasses and set up as a felt version of his face, very easily identifiable, by the way. John has red hair and a mustache, so the glasses on top oh, left little question of who this could be. He went silent for a second and said, is that supposed to be me? As I was laughing, I said something like, do you like it? As I took it out of the Squishmallow pile and revealed the entirety of Muppet John. Oh, did you make that? He asked, and I stood up off the bed and asked him to stand next to it. See, it's just like you, basically. I said, but he still wasn't laughing that much. I think he saw the Muppet ended up being just a little bit taller than him. He's 5'7", and probably insecure about that. The Muppet ended up accidentally being a little taller than him, around 6'1", based on seeing them side by side. That, that's a big margin. Yeah, yeah, the title said, 
one-to-one -one scale puppet version of my boyfriend. It's, it's fucking huge. I noticed his disappointment and did try, did a tried and true Disney impression to make him feel better. In my... This can't be fucking real. Be so for real right now. In my best goofy impression, in my best goofy impression, I said, well, looks like we should call him Big John. Yuck. I, I think I died a little bit. John just took the glasses off of Big John and let him fall on the floor and put the glasses on the nightstand and sat on the bed for a while, but we eventually went to Sin City, but it was a lot more quiet than usual. He still fucked. He left after that, even though we were planning on having a sleepover. He said he wasn't feeling good. I texted him good night and went to bed. So here's the ish. This morning, I haven't gotten any good morning texts or any texts at all from him even though he always sends me a good morning text. I'm worried that Big John was a step. Don't keep calling it Big John. Don't keep calling it Big John. Stop. Stop. No. I'm worried that Big John was a step too far and that Normal John didn't think the joke was as funny as I did. Normal John? You're calling him Normal John now. Normal John, like we the reader would get confused who was the Muppet and who was the real man? Normal John? Normal John didn't think the joke was as funny as I did. I feel like he's just putting me in an uncomfortable position by not telling me how this made him really feel, even though I thought it was pretty funny. Is this salvageable or am I effed? I'm sorry, there are pictures of the Muppet? Are there pictures? Oh my God, it just got so much worse. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, let me get this straight. You made a very, okay, this is from Big Pro, this is not the OP. Let me get this straight. You made a very lifelike Muppet-like doll in the image of your boyfriend to spice up sex, a doll that ended up being about six inches taller than him. Six inches is a noticeable amount when comparing height, length, width, etc. So he probably feels like the height difference was purposeful and not accidental. OP response. It wasn't to spice up our sex life. I thought it would be funny to put his glasses on it and surprise him. I feel like it would I would find it funny and endearing if it was done to me, but I realized he might have felt like I made I made Big John big on purpose. I just overestimated the felt pieces for his leg. I want to tell him it was on accident because I was in a rush making the legs, but he isn't texting me back. Big John's legs are a bit wonky. One leg is about four inches longer than the other. So I feel like it's obvious I wasn't messing with the height on purpose. I hope I can talk to him soon. There's more. There's an update, yeah. What the fuck do you mean trigger warning infidelity? Did you cheat on your boyfriend with the puppet you made? There's no way! There's no way! Not sure why mods deleted my last post, but so many people were asking for updates that I'll leave the original in the comments. It's really funny to read back, lol. But here's what happened in the last week. So it's been a wild couple of days or so, and I've been honestly a little depressed at the negative reaction from everyone. After my BF, parenthetical John, left after we did the no pants dance in front of the Muppet, parenthetical Big John, it's been a week. He didn't text me for like a day and a half. I was really starting to get worried and believe some of the comments that I was a serial killer. 
I was so sad that I didn't even want to look at the sewing machine to make to make my custom Disney ears with it because it just reminded me of Big John. Speaking of Big John, I hung him in the closet so I didn't have to look at him. I was so ashamed. I was drawing when my phone buzzed and I saw it was finally John. All it said was, hey, can we talk? I was super nervous and he came over to my place. It was awkward at first because it had been so long since we saw or talked to each other and I honestly thought things were going to end, especially after reading all the comments. However, he, ap he apologized for his behavior and told me something that cleared things up. So apparently his mom has been cheating on his dad with multiple younger men for years and he and his dad just found this out the other day, the day I made Big John. He wasn't upset about Big John at all. I could tell he was still upset and my instincts were saying I should do a Disney voice, but I considered the comments from the last post and decided to just say, I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope your family is okay. Then the most surprising part, he said, I'm sorry too. And then in his adorably not very good singing voice saying, Big John never bothered me anyway. I have something for him actually and brought out one of his favorite slap bracelets that his mom got him as a kid. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. He pulled me into a hug and we danced like we were Cinderella and Prince Charming's... We danced like we were Cinderella and Prince Charming. He tried to dip me, but he's not very strong. So it created a funny moment where he kissed me and then he led me to my royal suite and there's a winky face in here. And well, you can probably guess the rest. We got on the bed and normal, <sighs> we got on the bed and normal John had some smears on his glasses after kissing. He asked if there was anywhere or anyone that he could put these on. I brought out Big John and his hand fell off, but it was like a fairy tale romance when normal John placed the glasses on Big John's cute nose. So for now, it seems like a happy ending. I'm sorry I didn't post any pics of the original post, but after seeing John's reaction, I was so embarrassed and some of the comments were so mean that I wanted to just destroy Big John and never think of him again. But there were some very kind people who sent me private messages that made me feel a lot better and proud of my quirkiness which could very well be autism, as some commenters have stated, getting a test in a couple weeks. Also, stop thinking I would use Big John for the Devil's Tango. He is strictly an awesome way for normal John to have somewhere to put his glasses. So after all this time, I've gained the courage to share Big John with you all like you've asked. I was happy with how it turned out and even happier that my beloved loved him as well. So this post is like, a consolidation post that lists the original and some top comments and an update and the comments on this post the top comment on this one is the most horrifying part of looking at these pictures is that i actually know a guy who looks like that and his name is john and now i'm kind of worried to be honest user pikachu's sparky cloaca says yuck at him see if he gets a boner no that's that's it that's all of it I'm just, I'm just so absolutely flabbergasted at this entire sequence of events. I... Well, excuse me, princess. One hour later. You ever just have something happen that makes you evaluate and reconsider every single decision you've ever made in your entire life. Think of that gift sub to Milk John, Normal John, and Big John. No one's an asshole, but absurd. Yeah, absurd as hell. Okay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Never before have I felt the need to go grab my emergency chili beer. But here we are. Cheers, everybody. It's um, 319 in the afternoon. Well, excuse.
Excuse me, princess. There really is a milk account for everything. If every hole is going to be this intense, I will not make it. I also won't make it. Welcome to the last episode well, of Hole me, Inspector. Princess. This will be the last episode. We will not be doing any episodes of Hole Inspector after this. Thank you so much. We're done forever. And this is the end. Am I the asshole for lying to my chat? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, Big John and Normal John broke me a little bit. I wish I could do a good Goofy. Wait, hang on. Okay, Scoot, could you read? Uh, let me. I'll just. I'll just type it out to you here, uh, and if you could read that out for me, so that we can just edit it and put it in in post in the Absolutely. video. Absolutely. Uh, could you read that in a Goofy impression? Well, looks like we should call him Big John. Hey, yuck. No! <laughs> could you, did you, do you see that, that, uh, that bitch here that Bikake just, just, uh, just did? Could you read that one in a, yeah, hold on. in a Where goofy as well? Right. <clears throat> oh, hey, babe, this puppet isn't the only thing my whole hand is going inside tonight. Gorge. Hey man, listen, if I can make money off of this somehow, like, is there like, you know, you, you know, I'm just saying out here content, if, if I could just have it set up a website where people wanted me to say nasty things is goofy, I'm out here. Imagine! <laughs> 50 shades of yuck, no! I'm telling you, I'll open up a, a like a sexy hotline of goofy, you know, people just call in. Oh, hey there, how you doing tonight? I, I hate it. I hate it. Goofy's going to start talking in the third person because Goofy deserves it. <laughs> Goofy do be a dilf. <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> why? Why are you like this? Okay, <laughs> Scoot, thank you for uh, just joining in to allow yeah, no me problem. to do this bit just uh, out of nowhere. I, I really appreciate it. It's going to... Yeah, I feel like it's going to just add another layer of absurdity to the, that fucking story. Do not pin Goofy be a dilf. Stop. <laughs> Stop right now. Yeah, Goofy's a sexy, eligible bachelor and he deserves the world. Scoot, why are you enabling them so hard right now? <laughs> Stirring more chaos. Well, cause instead of giving them trauma like I thought I would give them, I just gave them a new king. Well, excuse me, princess. I fucking hate that you started a hype train <laughs> off of Goofy's milkers. <laughs>